Oh, good morning. My name is Lenidra Munson, and I serve with the Children and Youth Ministries at Light Life West. You know, during this pandemic, I've had time to do things that I wouldn't otherwise have time to do. And one of the things that I really enjoy doing is writing cards. This one says, hello friend. And inside it says, life can get busy, but once in a while, it's nice to slow down and send you a smile. It kind of reminds me of a conversation I had last year with the middle schoolers at church. And we were talking about what are ways that we show people that we love them or what are ways that they show that they love us. And we talked about communication. And they said, well, you know, we text each other. They said, sometimes during class, we sneak and pass a note. He said, but one thing that we do a lot, Miss Munson, is that we talk on the phone and we can talk for hours. And I, it made me think, Jesus is our ultimate friend. How often do we talk to him? How many hours do we spend with him on a daily basis? You know, Jesus says in John 15, 9, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. And he is extending an invitation to us. To, he wants to be our friend. Will we accept his offer? He speaks to the sun in the morning, wakes us up, and he says, here I am, ready to love you through this day. Will you accept my offer? At night, he whispers to us through the moon and the stars. I can give you sweet rest. Do we accept? I am asking you today to think about that and to consider being Jesus' friend. Heavenly Father, we, can't, we come this morning just thanking you, Heavenly Father, that one day you offered us your friendship. The ultimate friendship, Heavenly Father, because you laid down your life for us. And we're praying that, Heavenly Father, we will accept your invitation and that we will not just be superficial, Heavenly Father. We will develop a friendship with you. That we will commune with you. We will talk with you. We will study your word, Heavenly Father. We will give you our inner feelings, our inner thoughts. And Heavenly Father, we know that you will reveal yourself to us. Heavenly Father, these are difficult times. Heavenly Father, but we know that you will get us through. We have a special blessing for our children and our youth who are returning to formal education, albeit uh, uh, through virtual learning. But Heavenly Father, we pray that you will just wrap them in your arms and impress upon their minds that no matter where they are, at home or at school, you are there with them. And Heavenly Father, we're going to thank you now. We're going to give you the glory now because we know that you are going to bring us through victorious. We will continue to give you the glory, the praise, and the honor forever. Amen. Have a great day.